this video we're going to continue with our Pong game using object orientated programming and this time we're going to create our bat class and put our two bats or paddles on the screen. Okay so let's uh, make our paddles. So um, the first thing we're going to do is going to be a new class. I'm going to call it um, paddle and obviously we're going to get that from object and so a lot of similarities with um, the ball class so we're going to first of all set up our initialization uh, slash constructor uh, method so we're going to have self well obviously it's going to have um, an x an x position uh, then it's going i'll put a point there um, it's going to have an X position, it's going to have a Y position, it's going to have a width. Now, because these are not games, we could set these at this point, but maybe we'll want to use this um, this somewhere else in a different program. So that's why you know, we're making it reasonably generic. And that's the, you know, one of the advantages of object oriented programming, is that you can use the same things over and over again. So we're going to... Um, because we can set these up initially, we're going to have to do our self.x equals x. And I could actually cut and paste a lot of this from the last one. Um, self.y equals y. And then we want our width. Whoops, let's go down to the next line. Self.width equals the width that we're entering. And then we want the height. So self.height equals height and then we want the velocity now this time slightly different to the ball one where we set the velocity um, when we created the ball this time um, we're going to set the velocity to zero because the bat's not going to be moving and there's no uh, although I could have set one up for a, a horizontal one as well um, to make it more generic. I'm not going to do that. Um, it's perhaps a bit contradictory what I said before, but we're never going to use it. So self dot color um, equals the color that we set as well. Um, just like the ball class, we're going to have to say how we're going to draw it. And when we draw it, we're going to need to know where to draw it to and screen. Um, we're going to use the pie game um, draw method. Now, obviously, we've used this before. So, pie game dot draw um, dot rec, and then it's going to draw it on the screen that we're going to send to it. We're going to um, give it a color which we've already um, sorted out at this point, and then this bit here sorry wrong thing there we're going to um, give it the values of the rectangle which we're going to define um, shortly so that's that one there done so we said how to draw it what about, what about moving well that's going to be um, defined in our move method and all that's going to do is not do that it's going to change the y value so we've got self dot y um, plus equals um, self dot vy and then obviously i'm going to define this rectangle which is our um, paddle so that's going to be um, def dot rec and so how do we define our rectangle well we're going to return the pi game rectangle so pi game dot rec and then it's going to be made up of self dot x so it's going to have um, our x coordinates it's going to be have our y coordinate and then we're going so, sorry self dot y and then we're going to have to give it a width which obviously we've defined already and it's going to have to have a height which we've defined already so that's our whole class done now later on we'll have to put um, an event handler in there so that um, we can handle um, 
movement from pressing the keys. Um, so we're almost there. So the next thing we've got to do is just like we, in the initialization of the game class, we made a ball, we're going to have to make our paddles. So I'm going to say um, self um, and then dot, let's go first of all for our left bat. And that's going to be a paddle and we're going to have it right over on the left so zero um, we're going to um, give it um, it's right in the middle there at 125 we're going to have a width of it's nice here that you know it's in pi game it's, even though i define the class myself it's giving me all this stuff here it's going to have a width of 20 it's going to have a height of 50 and then we're going to give it a color um, of game dot black, which is done before. And then I'm going to do the right paddle, so self dot right bat, and that equals. I'll be lazy now. I'm just going to cut and paste. There isn't much difference on this one. In fact, the only difference for this one is that this one's going to be right over on the right hand side of the screen so this needs to be at 480 now you're probably thinking why not 500 well remember we do have the bat with a width of 20 and finally we've got to actually make sure that we draw them each time so we're going to have to call each of the um, those objects um, draw functions so it's just going to be draw and remember when we call the draw function we've got to send and um, tell it where it's going to be drawing to so it's going to be drawn it to screen which is defined here so that's the left bat and then we've got to do exactly the same thing for the right bat okay so hopefully i haven't made any mistakes there let's run that one i'll bring it over and there you go we've got the ball we've got the two bats pressing the keys won't do anything at the moment and we'll be making the move in the next video I hope that you found this video helpful. There's a link to the code in the description below. Stay in Infield with Winfield.